Uh, we've had a really good season. It didn't end the right way. Uh, a couple of things happened early in the game that might have changed the momentum the other way. It didn't. Uh, we turned the ball over way too much in the second half. It's a simple game. Coach, did they make any like halftime adjustments that I guess made them come out with a better defensive game plan? I mean, it seemed like your offense just kind of faltered in the fourth quarter. I uh, I thought that I don't know who got the most valuable player, but I'll tell you who I thought the most valuable player was was their punter. He put the ball inside the five yard line at least five or six times. I don't know exactly how many, but the field position made it tough on the offense. And we hung in there uh, for a long time because I thought both teams were playing pretty good defense. We hung in there a long time until we turned the ball over and that kind of broke the gate open. But they didn't make any halftime adjustments. It was more of a field position turnover game. Coach, I know some Aztecs fans uh, were unhappy that the fumble that was recovered was not overturned, thinking the ball was moving forward. What were your thoughts on that call and play? I think it was close enough that uh, you could have called it either way. They, they decided to call it as a touchdown, so that's what it is. Rocky, what were your thoughts into the fourth quarter, even though your team was not playing very well, you still had the lead, and did you feel pretty comfortable or confident at that point? I, I thought it was going to be a very close game all the way to the end. Uh, I thought it might even go into overtime until we turned the ball over three or four times right there in a row. With that in mind, how shocked or surprised are you to see the way things went in the fourth quarter to your team? Well, I, I'm not shocked or surprised. When you uh, play one game in six weeks, there's a real good chance that you're going to be a, a little rusty at certain things. Now, you got to give them a lot of credit. I, I thought they played very well on defense, uh, as they always do. And some of those turnovers they caused, okay, because of pressure in the quarterback and uh, the fumble we just talked about, that's the way they called it. I'm not sure it was, but that's the way they called it, so it counts. Adam, what did you think of the play that we're talking about, that the called fumble? Did you think your arm was in motion? Did you have enough sense of it to have an opinion? Uh, I couldn't tell. You know, it was a bang-bang play. Um, you know, it was unfortunate. Uh, either way, though, I still got to protect the ball. That can't happen. And, and you, Nick, um, Van Noy kind of came across on your side. Um, can you speak to both that play and also the kind of player he is, what he showed you guys tonight? I mean, I just got beat plain and simple. I just kind of lunged on him and he swiped my hands. I mean, he's a good player. He's, he's quick, he's agile. And if you give him anything, he's going to beat you. And plain and simple, I just got beat. So, I mean, that's kind of my fault right there. So I take credit for that play. Leon, I know you were really frustrated coming off the field. What, what is it maybe that you, you feel most like you wished who would have happened differently during that game? Um, I wish as a, as a defense, as a whole team, we could have executed better. Um, they're a good team, and we didn't just uh, we didn't execute. Adam, I mean, the, the three picks, I guess, what, what happened – Toward the end of the game in that fourth quarter, that you know, it looked like it looked to us like things sort of unraveled for you guys. Can you talk about what they were doing? They weren't doing anything. You know, they're a good defense, but ultimately I have to take care of the ball. Um, you know, I feel terrible for the way I played tonight. You know, I didn't play good enough by any means. Um, you know, I feel horrible sending the seniors out this way. You know, that's not what they deserve. Um, you know, I'm gonna do everything I can to become a better player and make sure this doesn't happen again for uh, the future seniors of this program. Uh, Rocky, on the fumble that became a touchdown, uh, when they had, you mentioned the punter had done a good job pinning you guys back and you had always started with the run toward Adam, did you see something on that play in their defense that made you want to pass or just want to mix it up? What was the thought on that play call? Well, I think they started crowding the line of scrimmage. I mean, 
you have to take chances to move the ball in order to win the game, either by regaining field position or taking it down and scoring. I mean, we had several opportunities where we were in position to score, and we didn't score, especially in the first half. Uh, if you start to crowd the line of scrimmage, you got to throw it. you got to throw it to try to back them off. Nick, is that the best defensive front you've seen this year? And what what in particular do they do that causes problems? Um, yeah, I think I think it was one of the best that we face all year. I mean, they're just they're just good at what they do. I mean, they have a really big nose up front, and the, the two ends, Van Noy and number two. I mean, so they, and they just play hard. Coach, any positives to take from this? Yeah, we had a great season. And I thought our, I thought our, other than uh, we made some big time mistakes, I, I thought our players played hard. I thought we had a chance to win the game all the way until the turnovers. Uh, our team was a lot better than anybody gave us, gave us credit for at the beginning of the year. And when we were two and three, everybody was giving up on us. We won seven games and got into a bowl game. That's a pretty positive season, if you ask me. Coach, is, is there any word on Zach Dilly? I haven't heard. I mean, it, it didn't look real serious. Obviously, he couldn't return, but I haven't heard from the doctors what it was. And also, when, when Gold came in, uh, Nick, you kind of switched over to, to right tackle. What went into that decision, and, and uh, how do you think it, it, it uh, played out? You want Nick or me? Uh, either or. Well, I mean, that <laughs> we, we uh, rep six or seven linemen. So Nick's our most versatile offensive lineman and knows all five spots. So it was a lot better to put Riley at guard where he had started, I think, four, or maybe five games. He started at guard and put our best offensive lineman out at tackle that knows more what to do. I mean, it's a real simple deal when you rep seven offensive linemen and the most versatile guy is the guy that has to move. The most veteran guy is the guy that has to move. Rocky, do you consider the fumble recovery for touchdown as a key play of the game? No, I don't. I, th I think blocking below the waist on an interception for a touchdown was the key to the game. I, re I really believe if we'd have scored that touchdown, the momentum would have been in our favor for the rest of the night. 